Hello, I just want to talk a bit about uh, the Bible. It has so many references to this stone and the king, the king in relation to the stone and this is what we know as the Philosopher's Stone. There's this desperation in this Psalm 61 that speaks to me. I'll just read a bit of it. From the end of the earth I will cry to you when my heart is all overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. See? And who is this rock? It's symbolic of, of the king, as it speaks about later. You will prolong the king's life. His years are as many generations he shall abide before God forever. O oh, prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. See? So this psalm speaks to me. Or it speaks... Uh, I, I, can, uh, I can feel the, this psalm here. The desperation in it, right? There's a desperation. Somehow the message of the stone is everywhere in the Bible. Everywhere in every freaking culture. And we insist to be blind about it. So how can people read this psalm? With the, with the feeling of understanding the, the message. How can people understand the message that is everywhere but not really understand it in the bigger context? I don't get it. It's so weird to me. I, I really feel this, right? From the ends of the earth I will cry to you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, right? It sounds it sounds good you have to you have to admit and uh, there is a large truth here to, to be understood and it has to do with the king the king's pearl the pearl that breaks the temples and Samson is just one out of many he um, as I understand, he protected Israel, right? From the Philistines, something like that, right? He, he was seen like some kind of king because of this. It was the spirit of the king. The same spirit that... Um, That was in this other dude. Let, let me check the name of him. He that uh, caught the fire to humanity, right? For some reason I don't remember right now, okay? Forget about that, but he caught the fire, he, he took the fire from the gods with his, with his bird lime. Uh, Zeus uh, realized it and punished him and he was attacked by a bird instead for... for he, the, the bird that gave 
the flame to humanity and, and gave them prosperity. This flame tortured him. Prometheus, right? It's the same thing. And that's why you have this psalm. It's kind of a psalm for, for, for the king. The king of the pearl. The, the pearl of the pearls. The greatest pearl of them all, the biggest pearl in the world is called, uh, I think it's La Allah's pearl. The pearl of Allah is the biggest pearl in the world. I'm, I'm, I'm putting something together here, here in the middle of the presentation. This speak, speaks volumes. This speaks volumes. I'm not, I'm not a, a Muslim, guys. I'm just telling you, there is something about this that is much deeper than you, than you can even imagine about this pearl, about this rock. It's the same rock. It's the philosopher's stone. Okay. There's a reason why it is like this. Okay. See you guys. Bye.